Hello, fellow film geeks. I'm Benjamin. I'm Benji. And I'm Ben. And you're listening to Three Three Indistinguishable Indistinguishable Guys Guys Talking Talking About Movies, a podcast that takes all the worst parts of film Twitter discourse and brings them to life through the magic of audio. We could not be more excited this week as we look forward to our annual trip to the Pensacola Semi-National Film Fest. It's five days of movies, sunny Florida panhandle beaches, and trying to coax sunbathing gators away from hotel parking spaces with raw steaks. Yeah, I'm super excited. I've got my sunblock ready. I've modified my gun that shoots salted bugs to fire three-pound horse-grade salt licks at a firing rate comparable to an M16. I call it the ass salt rifle. Well, congratulations on that, Benji, despite the deeply unappetizing nickname you've given it. Oh, and that reminds me, don't forget to pack your face shields. Those panhandle mosquitoes are juicy. Now, as you can tell, we are incredibly excited for our upcoming trip, and we're going to kick off the celebration with a list of the movies premiering at the Southeast's 19th most anticipated film festival that we're most excited to see. Who wants to go first? I will. The film I'm most excited to see is Too Much from director Jenny Chavez. It's been getting a lot of buzz recently since it seems to elegantly tackle such hot button topics like the opioid crisis, trans rights, gerrymandering, the ethics of spacefaring civilizations making contact with species that have not yet developed warp drive, what dogs are thinking, disproportionate minority incarceration rates, all the while bravely forcing audiences to confront some harsh truths about ourselves by asking one of the most pivotal questions of our time is ectoplasm ghost come. And it does it all in 73 minutes, including the opening and ending credits. So it's really 59 minutes, but apparently it's a narratively potent 59 minutes with a 17 minute intermission. I'm really excited for that one too, but I'll tell you the one I'm super hyped for, Broncos. It's about a horse with dissociative identity disorder. One minute it thinks it's a horse, the next minute it thinks it's a dentist from Winnipeg, and the very next minute it thinks it's Denver Broncos legend John Elway. Now I don't wanna spoil the movie, but I will. In the end, it turns out it is John Elway, And it's a true story. I cannot wait to see that one, but the movie I'm most excited to see is Shiny Objects. It's a four hour epic that challenges viewers' attention spans with a brilliant use of split screen. On one side is a mediocre family drama starring whoever was in the latest sci-fi original movie about sentient killer volcanoes. And on the other is a rotating cast of glimmering shiny objects vying for your attention. The set of jingling keys have been getting rave reviews and there's even been some Oscar talk for the disco ball. Oof, exciting stuff. Obviously, we can't wait for our annual trip to Pensacola, and I can't wait to soak in that Gulf of Mexico sun for a few days before we're run out of town by a biker gang with loose ties to the local chapter of the KKK, which itself has strong ties to the local police force. If you want to support this podcast and all the other fine pods on the Inaudible Podcast Network, then please, if you could spare some dollars, support us on Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash inaudiblepod. Then follow the network on Twitter at inaudiblecast. Jesus, what the hell was that? Uh, Sorry, guys, there was a fly in the room. The good news is the assault rifle works like a charm, but for some reason, the neighbors looking at me through the holes in the wall aren't as proud of me as I am. Hey, I killed a fly. You should be thanking me. Ah, shit. See, folks, Benji's forthcoming lawsuit is all the more reason to contribute to the Patreon. So do that. Then please join us again next week when we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about movies. See you then, folks. Bye. Bye.